this follow um, NYSIX uh, standard, and it's hardware and the software is all open source. It follow uh, NYSIX board consumer uh, edition. Right? It's a high performance and a low consumption. Uh, now the Android is night is uh, Android six. And the price is nine one one dollars. Okay, got one dollar. Yeah. It's some uh, the block of uh, X twenty SOC. I think you can just uh, uh, okay. Uh, you can. Uh, I I I want uh, want to uh, discuss detail here. Uh, you can just uh, visit uh, Mitag website uh, to view the detail. It's and its feature is just like this. It's data call. Uh, one uh, two two call is called as A72, and uh, eight, the other eight call is uh, uh, fifteen uh, three, and it's run high performance. It's some feature. It uh, has. High performance and uh, multimedia uh, is very, very, very good, so you can just try. I have below. I have one board here. It, it's a, a nice six board and with a debug board. It's a LCM. I can just run the N22 benchmark here, but it will take uh, about uh, five minutes. Later, I will show that. Now, I will just run the N22. Okay. This is a bit, uh, 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 in the morning, I just run one time. It can uh, run the benchmark is uh, 81,000. I can test again. This is the top wheel over the board. It, as it follow a nice six board, so uh, it has an infa interface as uh, the other nice six board. It's two gig, gig me memory and uh, it can make uh, EMC flash. It now support uh, one camera, um, but uh, in default, uh, X20 support three camera. And uh, in next next version, we will do, uh, we, we just are uh, talking uh, with uh, Nysix uh, Liano to uh, maybe uh, next version we will support more camera. This is the, board, the bottom wheel. It has just defined uh, some function to switch uh, for auto boot, HDMI and USB host you can just debug or use uh, USB host uh, to use um, the mouse or keyboard to debug. And we, ha we leave one function, uh, one key. You can just define it yourself. This just show the environment. Uh, when you want to start the, uh, use this board, a power supply. It's also uh, Liano just define this uh, HDMI, HDMI monitor or a TV just like this. It's a HDMI monitor. You can use the uh, HDMI uh, to HDMI or HDMI to VGA to DPI. Uh, you can connect the board to this and a micro USB cable to debug or flash imaging. Uh, computer mouse or keyboard just to use it. Also, we just uh, uh, do a, 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 a dot board. Is this a dot board is mainly for internet use. It's uh, a, a, a LC, uh, LCM module. It, it can uh, show the screen and uh, has a dual camera and uh, it can use a touch panel. So, the thing is just like this. Okay, 
I will show show this. Okay. Okay. Wait a moment. This HDMI just connect the board, and uh, I now I will check. Let let team help me check. Uh, connect the H the VGA to the projector and show uh, the screen. Okay. Okay. I just open a camera application. So we can just less this, and we can uh, take a picture. Here, okay. Oh, can, hey, where is it? Oh, this here. Okay. How to create it? Okay. It's very small. Yeah. So this project is just a LCD screen. You can just debug, uh, use the monitor, uh, and also also you maybe you can just define uh, and design the dot board yourself. This we we just use a uh, six pin high speed interface with MIPI. Default I, I just talked that uh, default. Uh, the other just standard is only one camera, but the X20 supports three cameras. Okay. Build the ecosystem is very important. Uh, if you uh, get this board, only this board, you can't debug or want to use. Uh, from the requirement, many customers want to LCD, uh, IF, and uh, dual camera. iPhone just uh, have iPhone Plus is dual camera. So we are planning with mid, uh, mid tech. Uh, first is a dual camera board, sub board. It will be coming soon. We were planning that. And another, we will have a sub board to enable the IF module. So with this board, plus uh, IF board, it can work. You can just connect to the internet. OK. Uh, this is a, okay, this is a N22 uh, benchmark. It's Eight nine thousand. It's the eight nine thousand can run on the nine six board X twenty. Uh, and the next month, uh, we will release this version. Uh, that, that version is uh, as this version is uh, still has some bugs, so we will want to release this version. But for next month's version, it will run uh, seventy four thousand. That's a stable version and uh, all open source. You can just access the uh, through Leon, Leon and uh, our website. You can download uh, the hardware uh, document, schematics, board placement, BOM, GPL pin, uh, hardware user menu, uh, to the drawing from the link. The link can, you can download it from Alphstar, our website. Also, uh, the 96 board or arch. For software development, uh, it's just as uh, other 96 board. You can build uh, the, your environment, uh, download the uh, Android source code, uh, build the uh, Ubuntu environment. It's easy. We, we have a guideline on our website. Uh, I just install, as I use Windows, so I just install uh, a Windows machine, uh, watch machine on my, on my laptop. 
later, if you want to try, uh, we have this, this form. You can just try it. For source code, uh, we have AOSP, Lint kernel, and MidTech uh, Planary Binary. And we are just uh, uh, updated the version to utilize uh, the X20 performance. Okay, it's just uh, the build. Let's ignore it. Um, if we want to flash the image, MidTech has its uh, private tool, XFlash. It's just like this. Also, it can download from the website or Arch Archmand and the uh, 96 board. This is just the install application. I think uh, everyone know it. We have a four LED on the board. It just indicates some uh, states. You can just uh, define yourself. So to uh, check uh, w w w whether it put uh, OK or put too well. Also, you can use the low speed pin just to connect to the UART to get the information if uh, the USB can work. And uh, uh, for if you want to buy, you can through a channel uh, directly contact us. We have service mail. You can directly contact us. Also, you can uh, oversee. You can uh, go to Seed Studio website to get it. And uh, at the end of uh, next month, we will have enough board uh, available for everyone if you want to, want to buy. Now you can just pre-order. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, if you have uh, any question, uh, I and uh, MidTech partner can reply. Team, you want me to sign it? Linux version. On Android side, what what kernel are you using now? Kernel. Kernel. What kernel versions are you using now? Uh, it's the 3.1x. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, just to, to follow up to the same question, you don't you don't have a Linux right now, but is there any plan? Any plan? Do you have any plan to provide the Linux uh, uh, for LEO X20? 
Exactly. Uh, you, you mean the Linux kernel version? Yeah. Yes, we have planned to support a new version, but uh, it's under printing right now and undergoing. So uh, maybe we will release the in next year, right in this year, because uh, we released the uh, 3.18 to align our product. So if you, just as we mentioned in the um, this morning main, uh, session, uh, we just want to help the open, co open community to have a way to uh, realize your ideal product into the real a commercial product. So the best way to help you is align our production, the Linux kernel version with the software, open source way. But in the future, we will have a, a plan to support maybe 4.4 or other Android version, uh, kernel version. Uh, about the uh, Dota board that, that your slide includes, uh, what kind of RF module included? Okay, uh, about the Dota, more, my Dota board, right now uh, we, we are co working with Archon Mind to develop, uh, to provide the uh, display and the dual camera and the IF module. Then for, uh, for those boards, uh, it's under uh, developing. So the best uh, timing is will be a release in the end of this year. But uh, maybe uh, if, if they, there's any, uh, everything is goes smooth, then should be released in the end of this year. But if we have something um, uh, need to fix, maybe you will, will be a little late. Is the source code for the flashing tool available? Uh, the flash tool? The source code flash tool? Sorry, so you need a source code of the first tool? Yeah, it would always be preferable because sometimes we do stuff like flash one board from another board and you probably don't provide ARM binaries for the flash tool. Okay, so uh, we have released our first tool uh, to our customer, but we didn't release the source code to the, the open community. But we can consider ab about it, okay? That would be great, thanks. Following up on the flashing tool, do you consider uh, uh, releasing the docs about the, uh, the protocol of the tool? Because it, the tool uh, is like the, the main goal of the tool is basically to partition the board and then to turn it into the fast boot mode. So uh, as I checked, uh, I, had, I had access to the source code. So it's, uh, it can be done much simpler way. So are you considering like splitting it into bits that do only one thing, like uh, flash the uh, partition board or turn the board into the passbook because you don't have to partition al always. So is there a plan to, to do this upgrade? Okay, we are considering about it. Where should we send all these uh, requests? Oh, you can send a request to uh, Arch or mine. Yeah, um, they will help us to the provide the tech support and all of the information handled. Mm -hmm. If they think they, they need uh, our maybe uh, more technical support, we will uh, help them. So all of your requests that we suggest you rest to the avastart.org site. Uh, the price is one nine nine is one ninety nine, one nine ninety nine. Yes. Uh, so, if you don't have any question, I will prefer you. Maybe you can go around to the if front desk and to see some demo here. So. We can have a more convenient way to discuss. Yeah. 